Hey, Tony here, Random Adventures 2.0. All right, I'm back on uh, Rock Bottom Creek. Uh, Lester wasn't able to make it today, but the rain did. So it is coming down just like the last time, but uh, the last time it, it started raining all night long. It started at like uh, eight o'clock the evening before. This creek was about, oh, about this high. So right now the water is really down. It, it was raining throughout the night, but not as hard as the last time I was here. Uh, but if you remember, uh, Lester and I were working up that crevice over there and uh, we were sitting panning right here. Now the water, like I said, was a lot higher. Uh, and you couldn't really see the bottom when I was here. It was so muddy and so forth. Uh, but uh, today we're gonna be working upstream a little bit. Uh, let me take you along, but I kind of want to just show you this here real quick uh, so you remember where we were at last time. All right, so if you remember the last time, uh, this rock uh, right up here, that's the one uh, where we, uh, well, we teamed up and we dug a hole right there. Uh, we buried that with the rock, so nobody's touched it. So, but I'm probably not gonna touch it again either. So, <laughs> cause we didn't have anything out of that. Uh, right here was the crevice that we were working out. And um, Lester was sitting on this rock here, but all of this was underwater, all of it. And remember when I pointed up there and I said, hey, it comes around and does a couple bends down through here. Um, this, we did a test pan out of here. Now, Lester has gotten gold out of uh, underneath that uh, rock over there, he told me. Uh, but well, I'm going to go up there where you can see my buckets near that sycamore tree. Kind of been eyeballing that uh, even since we were down here last time. Uh, over here on the bank, uh, this is where I was pulling out them rocks right over here. Um, so I was pulling out some pretty neat little little rocks. There were some green ones. I'm going to look for them again uh, while we're here because uh, it, it was really cool <laughs> uh, but you can just I'm just uh, still amazed at all of the quartz that is in this uh, area uh, just tons and tons of it I mean not just small pieces I mean really really large pieces uh, you can see this one right here just man, that's that's a hunk that's a hunk of, of and that's not even one of the big ones that's that's small compared to what uh, is down in this area uh, if you ever rock counting, this is a great rock counting spot. Uh, but let's make our way on up here. Yeah, see? See what I mean? Quartz. Just look at that. Quartz, 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 quartz. That's a nice piece of quartz right there. Um, uh, right behind that boulder. That looks like a nice spot too. Uh, but kind of set up here with the bucket. I've got my shovel in a spot that I think I'm going to take a look at. Um, it looks like this spot down in here was cleared out pretty good. Um, there is a little bit on that side. Water's still cold. Uh, it's between Christmas and New Year's right now, so I just got a break in the weather. That's why I ran down here quick. But you can see I'm going to... I got my shovel stuck there. Might pull that stuff out behind that, in between those boulders, uh, just to run some uh, stuff. Uh, but let me show you what I backpacked in and carried in my bucket here real quick. All right, so I got my large classifier. Probably not going to use that. I do have uh, two buckets. Got my gold pan. Got, I've got a new uh, one eighth inch classifier. Obviously, my backpack is getting wet because <laughs> it is raining. Uh, my blue pan uh, so that we can, uh, you know, pan down the last little cons there. Uh, I am going to give this a try. Uh, Lester was uh, good enough to actually give this to me, so I wanted to wanted to give this a try on the creek here. I've got my smaller shovel, uh, my scoop, and then, you know, my obvious stuff, so my hammer, uh, the magnet for the crazy black sands that are in this creek, um, some crevicing tools, and my spoon uh, to kind of pull stuff out. So I'm going to get set up here and start putting some stuff in buckets and Keep it rolling. All right, another look upstream. Yeah, one of the nice things about this uh, 1 8 inch classifier, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's got a ridge around it right here that actually fits right on top of the bucket. It makes it real easy to slide around. Uh, so that's gonna be uh, pretty nice. Uh, get that set up right here. Get my gloves on. So I got some waterproof gloves because uh, it is cold. <laughs> that water's cold. Uh, so I get these put on and then I'm going to get shoveling. 
start getting some material in here to run through the sluice. I'm going to fill that up with some water. Get that second bucket. But I kind of wanted to give this a, a look here. But yeah, just the uh, just the amount of quartz. A piece there. I mean that's. I think it's quartz and black sand in this creek. Uh, a lot of other little little material as well. Um, yes, yeah, and just really nice stuff. All right, so I'm gonna get my other bucket and fill that one up so we can give it a shake. Yeah, that's really nice. A lot of, a lot of quartz. Yeah, a little, little worm. <laughs> really a little worm. All right, so let him go. Just, yeah, just, look at that. Yeah, this this eighth inch classifier is just really, really nice. So you can see I'm not going to waste my time with a lot of the big stuff that's uh, down here because I, I know the size of the gold in this creek is very, very small. So I don't want to uh, waste, you know, classifying so much big material. So I thought the eighth inch classifier would be, be a lot nicer to use uh, while I'm doing this. So we'll just work through this bucket in this area. So I just want to show you what it looks like at the bottom of the bucket. So that's the material that it's getting it down to pretty quickly. Um, yeah. So I'm pulling out all the really, really fine stuff just with the classifier. I could probably just run that um, with my pan. But I'm still going to run through the sluice. But you can see it's... All that sediment in there. Yeah, let's keep going. dump that water out I'm not gonna dig down in here too far it looks like I'm already digging on top of uh, maybe somebody else's uh, tailings uh, but doesn't look like much got trapped in there if not it was probably from the last couple of uh, high waters but that's what I've got I'm just gonna go ahead and run that in a pan I'm not even gonna run that through the sluice box but I do want to see how that runs but I'm I'm thinking maybe because a lot of this looks like tailings um, to me. So, want to either dig underneath that boulder over there where that rock is uh, on this side of the, uh, on that side of the sycamore tree. May plug around some roots there. Might try to dig on that bank a little bit uh, just to get some material, bring it down. Um, we'll, we'll see what we're gonna do. We're just prospecting, we're having fun. Um, it's about 43 degrees out right now and very foggy. It's <laughs> still very foggy. All right. Well, I'm going to get busy. Been wanting to use this new blue one. <laughs> All 
Hi, nothing there. I don't know if you can see that, but look at all that black sand. That's just crazy amount of black sand in there. All right, like I said, I wasn't expecting much. I thought I was digging in some tailings right there. Uh, so I wasn't really expecting a whole lot. But, all right, get you up here. Down. All right. So, so yeah, I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of that. Like I said, I felt like I was digging in somebody else's tailings. So uh, most likely I was, but there's a lot of black sand in there. I should get the magnet out. I'll show you, show you that. Yeah, let me go grab <laughs> all right so i got the magnet we're just going to run it in the pan here uh because i just want to show you how much black sand is actually in uh this this is crazy so yeah look at that <laughs> that gets me every time just the amount i mean i i did not even an eighth of a bucket just really, really small. I think I was working in somebody else's tailings right here, uh, but it was just too loose, too loose right there. Um, but yeah, I'm just amazed. Look at that, crazy, crazy amount. Let me put that back in there. All right, so I'm not gonna save this, uh, but I am gonna go over here. All right, so we ran that first bucket. I'm here, I lost that jacket, <laughs> that fleece. It was getting too warm. I've got this nice underbase on. Um, but it's, it's about four, I think it warmed up to about 44 degrees. <laughs> so, ah, balmy, <laughs> but hands are a little cold, but, um, I was working in that area. Not, not the best choice, uh, but we ran that a little bit. I wanted to test a few things out. Uh, I'm actually looking over here at the base of this sycamore tree. I've got my backpack there, some bowlers that rock won't move these two look like they will i'm probably going to try to move those i was thinking of uh working around maybe the roots maybe there's some dirt back here if, if guys were working out in that area it looks like this is tailings or things that dropped off as as the current came around uh, on this bend kind of like to get over there but i, I can't do that uh today uh but thought well Maybe it's coming over here. I might take a look under here and see what this looks like under here. Uh, but let me just see if I can, what this looks like real quick. Yeah, there's some tree roots and stuff. Sounds like some more rocks underneath there. I'm gonna work on that. Maybe get some uh, material out of there. Kind of test that a little bit. Um, like I said, just prospecting, having fun uh, before the new year hits. Uh, if I didn't say it, have a happy new year. Uh, but I probably will at the end. All right, so I'm gonna get some stuff together, put my gloves back on, my hands are getting cold. Another one of them green rocks that I found before. I didn't clean that, say that, and clean that one off. Um, I forget the name of uh, rock or mineral that that is, but it's. Uh, um, huh. If I if I think about it, I'll I'll look it up again. Um, but it's what I think it is, according to the book that I have of minerals. And I thought I would find another one down in these roots here. Hey guys, here's that uh, little uh, piece of mineral that I found uh, really, really cool. I, I think it's called chrysalophase. Um, this was down in those roots there. Uh, but that's a great find. Uh, just, you know, the last time I was down here, I, I saw those little green pieces uh, that I picked up and I took home. Uh, I did look them up, and, and the closest match I could find was that chrysalophase. I think it's, well, I'll put a, a direct spelling of it up on the screen here. Uh, but that's a great find. Uh, didn't find any gold yet, uh, but that is uh, kind of why I wanted to come down here, is not only for the gold, but uh, I wanted to find me another piece of this. So uh, there you go. All right, got one. Like I said, I'm just digging these roots, around these roots. I don't know if anything got stuck in here. 
but I certainly want to give it a whirl while we're here. Oh, I think the sun's peeking out a little bit. So just like crevicing down in rocks, I'm going to crevice around this root here. I keep this kind of working down in here. I got my spoon to scoop that out with. But I'll just keep keep going here. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh that's some nice you know, like some nice ground there. That's a great cup of coffee, yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, so I got uh, stuff down into the bucket. Uh, we just classified, I'm gonna get the sluice set up and we're gonna run that material. I think we're done in that hole for right now. Like I said, just test panning, seeing what's in there. Uh, but tell you what, this coffee's really good. It's warming up, well, it's warming me up. It's not warm out, for sure. Even though I'm in a t-shirt, I got this, uh, this base layer on it, I'll tell you what, that's keeping me real warm. It's a good deal. Is that, yeah, it's in, it's in the 40s. <laughs> All right. All right. So, great shirt. Okay, cover that back up. All right, so let me get that set up. All right, we're done with our coffee, so now it's time to run some stuff through the sluice. Uh, I already started running some material, but I thought I would just uh, just do a quick pan down. Uh, so that's where I'm all set up, and that's where we're doing it. And it's looking pretty good, actually. Uh, but inside the bucket, it's a lot of sludge, so um, it all settled down to the very, very bottom. I'd say we had about a quarter of a bucket of... Um, really really fine stuff uh, after running it through that 1 8 classifier uh, so uh, we're just running the real real fine stuff through here looks like the uh, sluice fox is catching stuff um, I don't have it set up completely right I, I know that uh, it's a little tough uh, water's very cold but I can't seem to find the right uh, balance uh, so I'm working with what I got and we'll see what we get all right All right, that's all down in there. So uh, got that cleaned out. Took the miners' mosses in here. Oh man, that's actually cold. Cold. My hands are getting uh, pretty, pretty numb at this point. I'm gonna dump this excess water off. Uh, if you can see down in there, that's what we got left. After running through the 1 8 classifier and also through the sluice. So that's what we got. All right, we're gonna get this into our blue pan and uh, pan this down. All right, there we go. That's everything that's in the black pan or the uh, blue pan now. So we're gonna just start stratifying and 
get this pan down and see what we got. Again, we're gonna agitate it and then just give it a some passes. Bring it back, agitate it again. Work them lighter sands off. We're really giving it a good stratification here. Yeah, any gold, it's going to sink to the bottom when you do that. And just give the pan a good tilt. You can see all those heavy bits in there. Real, it looks it looks like mag magnetite, um, big chunks. I should run the black magnet or my magnet over that. I will then. All right, all the light stuff's off. Now we're gonna switch to a lot of it. But you can see the more I shake it, the blonde sand comes back up to the top and you see the black sand sinks so you can see it when i tilt it back you can see the black sand in there and you get all the blonde stuff on there and the idea is you work that towards them riffles and then you just rinse that off just forward and backward forward and backward let it rush off sometimes i only go like halfway you know just get them out of there get a little water in there shake it all back you can see it's getting darker and darker, but there's still that blonder sand in there. All right, rinse that blonde sand off again. Working it towards the front. Bring it back. Now this is a time-consuming process here when you get down to this point. So. You want to take your time. You don't want all your hard work to go out of the pan. Every once in a while that there and just give it a good tap work everything that way stratify again because you want to work it down into the corner of this edge you want to work it right into that edge there but on that end so that's why you tilt it and you just shake it tilt it rinse rinse over those little riffles and you give it a shake back and forth on the riffles So that the stuff sinks down into the riffles and then a nice little rinse. Pull it all back. Get that little more water in there. All right, we're almost all down to black sand now. Shake back and forth. Some of that blonder stuff off. Yeah, we're almost 100% black sand now. All right. I'm going to switch to a different setting on the camera here. So it's not so close. And then... So I'm going to step around the back of it so I can get this kind of in the front. And I can see what I'm looking at. Alright, so we got a good little top there. Now you're just going to start pulling it back. Rinse. Nice little tap. Should get a little more water in here, but that's
Alright, I don't know if you can see it, but very, very fine flower gold all up in the edge there. I don't, not really seeing much down in there, but hey, not a bust, right? So, looking good. I'm going to get the snuffer bottle and snuffer that up, uh, that's for sure. Alright, so snuffer got it, and... It's in the, in the snuffer bottle. All right, I'm going to grab the black magnet real quick, and uh, I, I want to see how much of that is uh, going to be picked up by the magnet here quick. All right, hold on. All right, so magnet's nice and clean. See, it's nothing on it. But just to give you an idea of the black sand that's in this creek, look at that. I'm just moving it around quick. Look at that. That is a crazy amount of black sand. Just unbelievable. <laughs> and you just release it, rinse it off. No more on there. But that was all black sand. That is just incredible. All right. I got to get cleaned up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A lot here. Still warm. All right, Tony here, Random Adventures 2.0. Uh, had a great time uh, visiting this creek again, and uh, we got some a lot of black sand, and we did get a uh, little bit of gold as well. All right, so hey, thanks for coming along, and uh, if you like what you see, you like the videos, check out some of the other gold prospecting videos that I have on my channel uh, under Gold Prospecting. Uh, there'll be a, a playlist at the end of this. Uh, but hey, thanks for coming along. If you think about it, go ahead and hit like and subscribe and uh, uh, then maybe the notification button as well. That way you can catch the next time I uh, release a video. Uh, but like I said, it's one adventure at a time and thanks for coming along. Man, I got a lot to clean up here. <laughs> I'm going to finish this coffee first. All right, good deal. We'll catch you on the next random adventure. All right.